The member for Sarnia Lambton. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Speaker. And it's a privilege to rise in the legislature today and officially recognize a very special anniversary. This year, 2024, marks the 150th anniversary of the ancient and accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry in Canada. This uh, central, central to the tenets of Scottish rite Freemasonry is a belief in brotherly love, relief, truth, and charity to all mankind, no matter an individual's race, nationality, sect, age, or condition. Their charitable endeavors fund nine Scottish Rite learning centers for dyslexia across Canada with autism, and with four of those located in Ontario itself. And they also fund, under what they call puzzles of the mind, Alzheimer's and autism grants. As we enter the 150th anniversary of the Supreme Council of Canada, may we continue to celebrate their vision and leadership across Canada in its 45 valleys and at the Canadian headquarters just down the road of the Scottish Rite of Canada in Hamilton, Ontario. With more than 10,000 members across Canada, the good works of the Scottish Rite can be seen in every corner of our province and this nation. Mr. Speaker, please join with me in congratulating the membership of the Scottish Rite on this, their 150th anniversary, as they continue to make good men and make them better. And may this great and time-honored fraternity continue from strength to strength until time and circumstance shall be no more. So will it be. Here, here. Thank you very much. Introduction of visitors. I recognize the member for Sarnia Lambton. Speaker again, and in conjunction with my uh, statement, I have three guests here in the uh, speaker's uh, the members gallery today, in the persons of David Bennett, the Sovereign Grand Commander of the Scottish Rite of uh, Canada, and with him Thomas Wills, the Lieutenant Grand Commander, and uh, joined by their illustrious secretary Terry McLean, who's the General Grand Secretary. Welcome to.